Do you love the grind of finishing off a game until you see those three important digits that read 100%? Or do you hate that same grind and prefer not to even finish games and just hop around from game to game because you just like to try everything new and old and just whatever comes along? What makes me curious is what kind of person are you? Picture this in your mind. You just found that last collectible. You've done the very last side quest. You have spent hours finishing everything and finally you have completed 100% of that game. So you're done with the game. You can bag it, you can tag it, and you can put it on your board. You have seen everything and you've done everything there is to do in the game. But sadly, most of all, you're sick of the last grind to get every achievement that you'll never have any desire to play that game again. You know my fellow ladies and gentlemen, I've heard of this happening a time or two. If it's up to me, I say don't do it. Don't 100% every game. But it's not up to me and people are different. Now that I'm an adult, I play games to lose myself to the story, to live in the shoes of the protagonist and to experience the world not only that has been created for the characters of the game, but also the same world that they are now a part of. I've played and completed a ton of video games in my life, yet I've never really tried to 100% any of them. I can think back to the days of The Legend of Zelda, and even the first Ratchet and Clank. I'm pretty sure I may have come within 1 or 2%, but I was a kid then. My choices were limited to a couple of games a year, and you go with what you got at that age, right? In my mind, to 100% a game in the last 10 years means to do every side quest, get 100% of the collectibles, achievements, and or trophies. And sometimes, sometimes, you must play the game multiple times and experience the same story two to three times. This, I feel, can force the player to make a choice between having fun sometimes and completing the game in a very formulaic pattern. The best games have side adventures that tie in with the main overall story, not just side quests that are meant to be fetch quests for a random collectible to look at in your inventory. Witcher 3 is probably the most famous of the games with the very best side quests that turn into a mini adventure all within themselves. Each side quest involves something different for the most part. You are meeting new characters and usually you are vanquishing an evil foe curing a certain affliction or finding a father's daughter. God of War, another great game, has a great way of involving you with the world and interacting with it as well. It is extremely replayable because every piece of armor does something different and every character is meant to help you along your journey in some aspect. These two games are vastly different with vastly different side quests, but both games make you feel like you need to see more. And most of all, you want to see more. Red Dead Redemption is also right up there with The Witcher. The world Rockstar created and the characters lurking in the deepest corners of the wild, wild west of 1899 are worth the trouble all by themselves. Are you like me? Do you always play the game your way? For myself, I don't do missions in any specific order. Instead, I plan on exploring the world first, seeing just what I can loot and not loot, talking to the NPCs, and experience the missions they have to offer. Sometimes I even start over because now I have a better understanding of the systems of the game. And after playing for a little stretch, I find that with some planning, it makes the grind a lot less noticeable and intense. I think I experience more of the game naturally this way. And as a benefit, I'm usually overpowered by the end of the game because you have seen so much of that game. Some of the times I adjust the difficulty to hard and you get to feel like a badass. To me, this is what makes gaming fun and more immersive rather than worrying about trophies, achievements, and other things that may take away from the experience. As a benefit, I enjoy finishing a game and then revisiting it a year or two later because I didn't 100% that game. It's almost like a new game. Now, games that we don't want to 100%, I'm not wanting to talk about those. I don't talk about bad games or talk about one should or shouldn't do with their valuable time gaming. Plus, having fun is like beauty. It truly is in the eye of the beholder. One person's game that they think is trash is another person's treasure. So, I won't even discuss games with side quests that I feel are subpar. I don't want to dissuade anyone from getting 100% in a game. 
I watch a ton of videos on gaming. I have many favorite reviewers I watch all the time. With all the reviews I watch, it makes these amazing video games and completing them way better. For me, it's actually informative to watch them and learn these different perspectives. I actually think it's given me some extra insight on how I go about planning on playing my adventure, unique to myself. Games are meant to be played in different ways by different people of all different ages and backgrounds. That's the most important part. It's simply to have fun. The best part of video games is that we immerse ourselves. We have fun. And that's what it's all about. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.